Here at RNA Scott, we hold the MAN Truck and Bus UK franchise for Gainsborough and the surrounding area. But we don't just service and repair trucks, we do cars as well. Our competitive car service and MOT packages start from as little as £99 and include parts, labour and VAT. But we're not just fanatical about vehicles, we are passionate about football too and are proud to sponsor Gainsborough Trinity. Still waiting for Oliver Mackay, the referee who's making his North Home debut this afternoon as he does emerge from the tunnel and leads the two teams onto the pitch for this afternoon's Evo Stick Northern Premier Division clash between Gainsborough Trinity and Warrington Town. The teams are just out and going through the respect handshakes as we'll quickly go through the teams starting with our visitors today Warrington Town in goal Tony McMillan, two Mitchell Duggan, three Alex Whittle. 4 Sean Beely, 5 Mark Roberts for captain, 6 David Raven, 7 Dylan Vasalo, 8 Ben Garrity, 9 Tony Gray, 10 Josh Amos, 11 Jack Dunn. On the bench for the visitors, Russell Benjamin, Adam Carden, Bowen Dixon, Rob Evans and Connor McCarthy. For the Holy Blues, in goal John Stewart, 2 Neil Austin, 3 Ben Gordon, 4 Skipper Shane Clark, 5 Yoan Evans, 6 Nathan Stainfield, 7 Alex Byrne, 8 Simon Russell, 9 Ashley Worsfold, 10 Max Waters and 11 Will Longbottom. On the bench for the Blues, Jamie Tiori, Elliot Wilson, Damian Reeves, Zach Casburn and Ashley McEwen. Two of the five substitutes making a step up from the Trinity Reserves who don't have a game this weekend and are currently sitting top of the Lincolnshire League. The two captains in the centre circle now with, re with the referee Oliver Mackay who's been looking forward to his Lincolnshire debut here this afternoon. Shane Clark and Mark Roberts with the pleasantries and we're almost ready to go. Last weekend Trinity were t turned around and had to attack the Gasworks end first against Stafford Rangers. Normal service resumed this, this time out as Trinity are attacking the goal away to our right. Simon Russell in the centre circle over the ball. Trinity all in blue. Warrington Town yellow shirts, white shorts and blue and yellow striped socks. Quite a combination of a kit. Shane Clark gets the ball out to Neil Austin with an early ball. The right back turns and strikes down the touchline. Over Waters and back upfield. Tony Gray helps. Gordon delivers the ball towards the D, head it clear, Evans helps it back towards the penalty area. Half head it clear but Shane Clark's underneath it and Simon Russell picks up the loose ball, feeding it out to Longbottom on the left hand side. Longbottom with nowhere to go, supported well though by Ben Gordon who keeps the ball and finds Simon Russell. Russell finds Byrne in a central position and Byrne pings it out to Max Waters on the right hand side. Overlapping run from Neil Austin, it's found a low ball into the area, Shane Clark a swing and a miss. Austin can't get there first and cleared up towards halfway. Josh Amos giving a tired time to Yoan Evans, but same field round on the cover for Trinity half. Evans just getting out muscled, but Stainfield strong in the challenge. Coming forward though through the 11, Jack Dunn looking to get the ball wide to the right, supported by the right back, Mitchell Duggan. Ball fizzed into the box comfortably behind and a goal kick to Gainsborough. With three and a half on the clock, it's Gainsborough Trinity nil, Warrington Town nil, as John Stewart is already being spoken to by the referee, Oliver Mackay, keen, keen to have a word. Can't quite work out what the referee's doing but it seems like he doesn't like John Stewart's black underlay underlayer and he's asking him to go and take it off. This is unbelievable with Warrington being allowed to play with blue and yellow striped socks John Stewart's not allowed to have a black undershirt and the referee wants him to do something about it. Already the referee making it all about him and we've only been playing four minutes. Right. 
couple of heavy touches from the online Doncaster man who scored on debut. The only goal of the game in the game against Mikulova a couple of weeks ago. But a little bit cold and struggling at the moment with his first touch. It is a frightfully cold afternoon though. Trinity keeping the ball. Alex Burton pirouetting away from two, three Warrington men and keeping the ball before finding Will Longbottom. Longbottom very deep coming inside. Finds Worsfold, who's turned around the corner, finds Simon Russell. It's back with Longbottom, who feeds it out to Neil Austin coming forward from right back. Delivered into the area, headed goalwards and tipped over the bar from McMillan. Great build up play by Trinity. Longbottom arriving six yards out though. He should have put it either side instead. McMillan was able to turn the ball over the bar. Chance for Trinity. Ten minutes gone um, to avoid this from happening. The skipper's up from the back. As Warrington man stands over the ball. There's two in the wall for Trinity. Left footed delivered into the box. Held goalwards by Josh Amiss, but John Stewart smartly down to his right hand side. Any more of a touch from Josh Amiss, and Stewart might have been struggling, but he's able to get down. Before looking to get back in. Neil Austin not wanting to get involved in mind games with the number 10, gives it to Stainfield and Stainfield strides forward before looking to get the ball up to Max Waters. Waters can't hold on to the ball though and it's played up towards Josh Amiss. Good challenge from Evans, wins the first ball. But Amiss keeps the ball away from Shane Clark and Ben Garrity. Raven strides forward from the back. Finds the ball out to Jack Dunn. Helped to the left to John, to Tony Gray. Tony Gray onto his right foot, shapes the shoot and beats John Stewart at his near post. Just very disguised, using all of his experience, Tony Gray. He was in far too much space, unopposed in the box. He was able to turn and pick out the spot at John Stewart's near post. This game's for Trinity now. Warrington Town 1. Tony Gray on the mark for the visitors. Ate it because of these freezing temperatures. And he's standing around, waiting around for things to happen. It's going to be a Mental preparation, physical preparation. It's important during breakdowns in play to keep things moving so that you don't get cold when the restart gets going again. Mitchell Duggan swing, swung into the box. Austin clears. Russell trying to get to the ball. His feet get stuck in the ground. And now Tony Gray on the right-hand side delivering into the box. Second goal. Two goals in three minutes for Warrington. Tony Gray again causing havoc on the right hand side this time, his cross delivered into the penalty area and Trinity statuesque defending. It's 2-0 to Warrington. And an opportunity for Alex Byrne to deliver some set piece quality from the Warrington right hand side. Right footed in swinger to be delivered into the box, in towards the near post, headed clear at the near post. Simon Russell trying to hold up the threat to Tony Gray. Shane Clark can't keep the move alive. And hammered over halfway when Neil Austin's in position, brings the ball down and looks for the ball into Max Waters' feet. Max Waters' layoff is loose and Josh Seamus wins the ball back and finds Tony Gray on the right hand side. Tony Gray gets his head up, has options ahead of him. Instead, goes back and calms things down with Mitchell Duggan, who swings it forward. Finds Dylan Vasalo, the number seven, who feeds it into the path of Tony Gray. Gray, away from Simon Russell, left, then right, and then low across the box, cleared off the line by Neil Austin to the D. Alex Byrne turns away and finds Will Longbottom. And Longbottom now coming forward, looking for the crossfield ball from Max Waters. Pinpoint ball from Will Longbottom. Max Waters, though, can't get it as man. My nose is dripping like a tap. My fingers feel like icicles, ready to snap. A stain filled in the right place to head partially clear. Shane Clark snapping into a challenge to win the second ball. But Hearn beat into the ball in the centre circle, trying hard to win the ball back. Max Waters profiting from good play by Neil Austin to win the ball back. And Alex Byrne now running in from the right hand side, delivers to the back post. Guilt edge chance for Ashley Worsfold, two yards from goal. The ball's just a little behind him. He's having to crane his neck backwards. But 
I know an Ashley Worth hole that might have flung an overhead kick attempt at that. And Austin looking for options before throwing down the line. Worsthold can't win the ball. Shane Clark can't win it in the air. Evans though gets there ahead of it, a miss and delivers to the edge of the area. Tony Gray brings the ball down. Shane Clark says thank you very much. And then Warrington Town say thank you very much as they win the ball back and Garrity drives through the middle of a park. Gets out to the right hand side to Josh a miss. A miss low effort. John Stewart smartly down to his right hand side to save. Austin and Byrne do enough to combine and shut the door. But quickly on with it, Alex Whittle works the ball to Tony Gray, who shoots goalward, comfortably behind. But a sign that, at the moment, Warrington can turn it on and off as they please. McMillan drops the ball at his feet and clears left foot it over halfway. Tony Gray looks after it, holds the ball and turns away from the challenge of Stainfield and Clark, inviting Alex Whittle forward from left back. Whittle looks to go all the way to the byline, delivers into the box, and it's turned in comfortably. Trinity again caught absolutely napping with a ball delivered from a wide area, a comfortable finish. This is game set and match with 60, with 49 on the clock. It's games for Trinity nil, Warrington Town. Before stepping up to strike, left foot it over halfway. Evans underneath it, Gray offering the challenge, but Evans' header finds Worsfold. Worsfold's layoff is loose though and given back to Jack Dunn, who looks to get a Neil Austin. Austin tries to send him a long way round, Jack Dunn still is able to deliver, and Josh Amos diverts an effort goalwards, half a yard wide of the upright. Another opportunity for Warrington, another cross into the box from a wide area and Josh Amos and Tony Gray at the moment are unplayable for the Blues defence. Six in the wall, but every man back is, ba is back for Warrington. Will it be Byrne, will it be Longbottom? Byrne steps up, drives it low into the wall, falls for Simon Russell, his curler two, three yards over the, ball, over the bar. My body temperature is getting colder as the ball's turned up towards Josh and Miss. Yoan Evans does well to win the ball and find Alex Byrne. Turned forward by Neil Austin. Byrne gets a strong foot on the ball and diverts the ball into the path. Turned goalwards. McMillan has to save. Turned goalwards by Simon Russell. Blocked. Simon Russell stands the ball up towards the back post. Headed cleared by David Raven. Better from Trinity at the performance at the moment. Worsfold can't keep the ball. His header just finding Tony McMillan in the Warrington goal. Still not getting going. Midway through the second half. Games for Trinity nil. Warrington Town three. McMillan, long clearance. Evans is underneath it. But Warrington picking off the second ball easily. And Jack Dunn feeding the ball through for Dylan Vasalo. Dylan Vasalo goes round John Stewart and rolls it past the goalkeeper. Again, statuesque defending from the Holy Blues. Not tracking runners, and Dylan Vasalo makes it four for Warrington. A day to forget for the Blues. Stewart looking for options, and then firing up towards Reeves, up top. Reeves beaten in the air by David Raven, but it falls for Ben Gordon, who takes the throw in and gets quickly on with it, finding Shane Clark. Clark, looking for feet, looking for options, finds Longbottom, continues his run, but Longbottom caught in possession. Does well not to concede a free kick, and Ben Gordon carries on, feeds it to Simon Russell, and Russell strides forward, takes aim half a yard wide of the upright. Evans, strong, stands his ground. A miss wants a free kick, the referee is unmoved. And Ben Gordon finds the feet of Will Longbottom, who's tripped and tripped by Mitchell Duggan. That's a bit silly. You want a word with him for his play acting there. That is poor. Ben Gordon's had his arm up, but he's no way caused the amount of harm that is being said by the player here. 
there is not enough contact in that. You haven't got that on camera either, have you? Yes, I think it's on the camera. Yeah. His arm is up. There is not enough contact for him to have poleaxed him in the state that he is. Some of the play acting from Warrington has been appalling, considering they've controlled this game as much as they have. The physio's on for the Warrington man, who's dying of embarrassment currently on the field. The assistant referee has been, sp been spoken to by the referee. The thing that goes against Ben Gordon is his arm was up. His arm was up that high, but not enough for any type of contact to this extent. But the referee goes to his book. The referee reaches to his back pocket and shows a red card. Unbelievable decision from the referee. On the say-so of the assistant referee, Ben Gordon has been sent off. McMillan is now getting a few pelters from the Carlisle Street stand as he's pinched about 15 yards for the free kick. Cleared long up towards a miss. Stainfield Towers highest and wins the ball. Russell sets Will Longbottom but Longbottom's clearance is charged down and misses loose in possession though and Bowen Dixon looking to close down John Stewart. John Stewart just about clears but it only falls to Dylan Vasalo who flicked it over the top and finds the substitute Conor McCartney. His shot saved, one-handed by John Stewart, but the offside flag was up. Loose ball given away, finds Damien Reeves in midway inside for Warrington half. Reeves, let's fly. Two, three yards wide of the upright, with Byrne breaking on the right-hand side. Didn't get his head up, didn't see. You expect that from a centre-forward sometimes, though. But he really hasn't connected well with that. Taking a kind deflection off Dylan Vasalo. And Austin now looking for options. Shane Clark, the only one to show short for feet. Instead goes long to Wurzfold, who flicks it on. Two players converge and it falls for Alex Byrne. Byrne finds Reeves. Reeves low, gets one back. Low finish under the goalkeeper. There's no celebration, but there's the ball underneath Simon Russell's arm and he's racing back to halfway, looking to get this going again. Referee's whistle, Oliver Mackay brings the game to a close. An opportunity missed for Trinity to jump into the playoff places. With Scarborough inactive, games were falling to a 4-1 defeat at home to Warrington Town. Thanks for joining us this afternoon and hopefully see you all again soon.